Hey hey, today we've got this little dinky thing, it's a Citroen C3, 2007, and what's the problem with this is, the owner has put petrol instead of diesel, so, <coughs> so we'll be doing a full system flush, changing the fuel filter, and basically pumping petrol out the system and putting diesel in it so I'll have to remove the seat and hopefully I'll be able to get to the to the tank from the top if no then I'll have to find a different way <coughs> but yeah that's what the crot is <laughs> It is a stupid situation that happens sometimes when you put petrol instead of diesel. Since he filled the tank up to the to, to, to the brim with the petrol, there was no other option really than drain the tank out and actually swap out all the petrol for diesel because if you were to put it like, let's say, I don't know, like 10 litres of petrol and stuff like that, then it would be fine, really. You just top it up with diesel and that's it. But uh, <laughs> not in this case, really. So let me go get some tools and uh, we'll start tearing this thing apart. Right, so first thing to remove the seat, I need to remove these these uh, things here and it's 16 mil you just basically pop it off and you've got a bolt there and you've got basically three of them all the way along so I'm gonna I can't really get a good angle where to put it so I can take it take a video but basically this is 17 but it, it doesn't really go on but you can possibly undo it with 17 but then it's 16 16 mil spanner that you want for these two so let me let me get this off and uh <clears throat> i'll show you what it's like well the seat is easy to come to take out Literally undo them three 16 mil bolts <clears throat> and you just lift it up, it lifts up and that's it. So this is the thing that I'm looking for. So this is supposed to come out somehow, which I'm going to figure out in a second. Let me just put a camera down so you can see. So hopefully with that open so hopefully with that open I will be able to access to the tank itself the pump and stuff so let me go get some screwdrivers we'll see if we can pry this yeah off it goes easy as that and we have this thing here now so i we'll have to basically unscrew that pop the pop the fuel fuel uh, thingy off um fuel stupid pump and blah 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 i believe so it's me or it could be in the mechanical or whatever i can't remember now might be wrong but uh let's undo that and see what's inside so i'll just kind of try and put it in there so first of all we'll take these off it smells nice and petroly <laughs> instead of diesel and all right this one is the the press in I 
pressure then it should just come off and this one So yeah people, don't be ashamed of yourself if you ever do this, <sighs> I need a mallet. So let's try and unscrew it. So let's try again. Well, it's moving slowly. Surely it's moving. That's a good thing. Oops. Camera got hit by an accident. Opa. Come around and we fell completely. So A fuel filter. Um, and the uh, thing. Yeah, it's basically just a, and this is what you've seen here. This is, uh, this is basically a filter with pipes. And basically that's it. It's not a, and well, it's got, they've got a sender for the level of petrol, what you have. But well, that's it. This is the. This is all you get in diesel. Cause the pump itself is. 
and the engine, not the engine, because it's manual as the engine too. Well, probably I'm talking shit right now, but that's what I'm thinking of. And this one like that. So I'm gonna just soak up all this loose petal and we'll have to suck out all of that <laughs> all of the all of the petrol from the tank which is full to the brim as the owner literally ran out of petrol diesel and uh we thought well let's put this good good stuff in this new stuff and <laughs> <laughs> he forgot that he's got diesel car instead of petrol and he just filled the petrol tank the tank to the room with petrol so yeah like this here shit happens but watch this thing is full this thing is full to the brim with petrol so let me go and get my magic pump and pump it all out so let's set the camera let's set the camera And we'll proceed to pump it. And all this petrol isn't gonna get go to waste. I'm gonna put it in my car, in one of my cars. So I'm not really asked about the car much, but there's not that much diesel in there, so it's not gonna harm my car in any shape or form so I'm happy about that and this is the setup that I've got I'm using this for many applications and this is going to be one of them I think it's going to be one of them no no it's the other way around this goes into there, and goes into there. And here we go. Here's our petrol. We'll start sucking all the petrol. Spot on. All this goodness, eh? <laughs> so, I don't know how much it's gonna be, but I believe there is about fucking 20 litres or something like that of petrol. I don't, to be honest, know. I think more. I think there is more. But we will see. I'm actually gonna put it on a time lapse because there's fuck all to see anyway. So, 
eventually, after three buckets and a bit <coughs> later, we've got the nose nice and clean empty tank. So what now we'll do is I'm going to have to go to the shop, get some diesel, come back, fill the thing up. I'll probably get some 10 litres or something like that. Fill the thing up, stick the filter in, link it up, and then we'll be going to find the fuel filter. What we'll do is, because all the systems, all the pipes and cover are full of, full of, they're full of petrol. So what we'll do is, we'll pop the fuel filter out, pump it through if we can, or to be honest, I'll pump through with an old fuel filter. As soon as I can smell diesel, I will stop. I will put a new filter on. We'll put new filter on, and then we'll pump pump through the filter, and then we'll basically pump through the system to the injectors. Basically, release the undo the injector, supply a little bit, and run a cot and then hopefully we'll push out most of the petrol and then it'll just fire up so yeah i'm gonna go to the shop get some fuel so i'll be back. the petrol station got some diesel diesel's in happy days now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it all back together i'm gonna put the fuel thing back in and uh we'll go to the front and we'll be looking for the fuel filler so yeah let me do this Right, this port is finished, it's all in, happy days, that's in, so now I'm just going to leave the seat in there f off for now, and what we'll do is, I'm going to go, let's go and find the fuel filter first, so get in the bonnet, So this is your engine and it's got a manual primer actually as well but this is what I'm looking for this is the fuel filter so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get some screwdrivers get this top off so that will give me more room to get to the filter and basically we'll just suck it through 